Hello everybody. So today's lesson is lesson 7.2, page 283 of our textbook. We're writing fractions as sums. And our essential question is how can you write a fraction as a sum of fractions with the same denominators? Okay, so let's look at the unlock the problem. Emilio cut a sandwich into eight equal pieces and ate one piece. He has seven eighths of the sandwich left. Emilio put each remaining piece on a snack plate. How many snack plates did he use? What part of the sandwich did he put on each plate? Well, each part of the sandwich, since it says it broke it into eight pieces, is one eighth of the whole. And one eighth is what we call a unit fraction. It tells the part of the whole that one piece represents. So if I took just one piece of the sandwich, what part of the whole is that? Well, that's one eighth. Okay, so a unit fraction always has a numerator of one, not sometimes, always has a numerator of one, a unit fraction because it tells the part of the whole that one piece represents. All right, so we're going to write 7 eighths as a sum, addition problem, of unit fractions. So we know that all of these plus signs, the numerator has to be 1. So 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One eighths is seven eighths. So the number of add ins represents the number of plates used. So he used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plates. The unit fractions represent the part of the sandwich on each plate. So on the seven plates, he put one eighth of the sandwich. So he used seven plates. and he put one eighth of a sandwich on each plate. Okay, we can deal with that. What if Emilio ate three pieces of sandwich instead of one piece? How many snack plates would he need? How many snack plates would he need? All right, so here we had one piece eaten. So if we cross this one out and this one out, now he's had, those are three pieces missing, right? So he has how much left? One, two, three, four, five. And that makes sense. Eight eighths, take away three eighths, is five eighths. So he would have five eighths of the sandwich left. So one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth equals five eighths, right? So he needs <clears throat> five plates to put one eighth of the sandwich. on each plate. Okay. Example two, we can write fractions as a sum. So we can add fractions, right? As long as they have the same number of pieces of the whole, we can combine them as far as parts of a whole. Um, and if we can find and make a common denominator, we can add all things. So Kevin and Isabel are going to share a whole pizza. The pizza is cut into six equal slices. They will put the slices on two separate dishes. What part of the whole pizza could be on each dish? Shade the models to show three different ways. Well, all right. So we have this whole pizza, but we want to put it on two different dishes. Well, okay. Okay. 
what if I put five sixths on this dish and one sixth on that plate? That's still six pieces, right? Sure it is. Okay, so that's six sixths. What's another way we do it? Well, how about four sixths? So we have four six on this one. How many would be on the other dish? Two six. And four plus two is six, so six out of six still. Uh, what's another one? Five, four, how about three on this dish? And this dish could have three. So it's three sixths plus three sixths. Now, if I had another one, I, I wouldn't want to say two sixths and four sixths, that's the same thing as this, okay? So these are the three different ways I can split up six, basically. One plus five, two plus four, and three plus three. All right. So what if three friends, friends share the pizza and they put the pizza slices on three separate dishes? Well, that's the same idea. We're just going to have three numbers added together to give us six sixths. So, um... I don't know, what if two of them, one six plus one sixth, what would the third dish be? Four sixths. All right, so that's one possibility. Um, uh, let's see, how about one sixth plus two sixths, what would the last one be? Well, right now we're at one six plus two sixths, that's three sixths. What would I have to add to three to get six? Three more. So three sixths. All right. Is there any other possibilities? Well, not with one, but what about if two? What if the first place was two sixths and the second dish was two sixths? Wouldn't the third dish be two sixths? Yeah, two, four, six. We can't have three six plus three six because there wouldn't be anything left to give to the other dish. Can't be one plus one plus one. That doesn't equal six sixths. Definitely can't be four plus four. That's eight. That's more pieces than we have. So those are the, the answers that we have. Um, so the possibilities are one sixth, one sixth, four sixths. And we showed that with this addition equation. We could have one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, and that's shown by one six plus two six plus three six. Or we could have two sixths, two sixths, two sixths. Right? So those are the three different ways that I think we can add or split the pizza on three different plates. All right, page 285, number one. We need to write three fourths as a sum of unit fractions. So we see the one hole here. And we have three yellow one-fourth tiles. Well, each piece is one-fourth. So in this model, each piece of the whole is one-fourth. So to write it as a sum of the unit fractions, it would be one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. Gives us three-fourths. This one, the unit fraction is one-sixth. Okay, well... One sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. Two, four, five. Five ones added together give me five. All right, number three, two thirds. Well, I have two thirds. I have two one thirds. Number four, write the fraction as a sum of unit fractions. Again, unit fraction means the numerator has to be 1. So 1 12th, how, how many times do I have to add 1 12th to get 4? Four? 4, right? 4 1's. So 1 12th plus 1 12th, that's 2 12ths. Plus another 12th is 3 12ths. Plus one more gives me 4 12ths. Pretty easy, right? All right, 6 eighths. Okay, so how many unit fractions do I need? I need six ones. One eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. That's three eighths. 
four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. Number 10, write the fraction as a sum of fractions three different ways. Now, six and seven, there's going to be multiple ways you can do this. Um, so the ones I write as the sum of the fractions might be different than what you come up with. Um, so basically we need to come up with numbers that add up to eight. Well, I know that one plus seven equals eight. I know two plus six equals eight. Three plus five equals eight. Four plus four equals eight. So that's, that's four ways right there. Then I could also use three fractions that add up to tenths. So in other words, I could have one plus one plus six. I could have two plus two plus four. So, so on. So many different ways, right? Now, all of these are the numerators that I was doing. I just want to find the eighth. All of these will be over tenths. So I'm going to say one tenth plus seven tenths. That gives me eight tenths. Um, I like the one with three. I'm going to go two tenths plus two tenths plus four tenths. And that equals eight tenths. I'm going to use three tenths and five tenths. That would be a sum of eight tenths. And all right, how about the one tenth plus one tenth plus six tenths? That gives us eight tenths. Could you have four add ins? Yeah. Five add ins? Sure. It just has to be a sum of fractions three different ways. Six sixths. Well, what adds up to six? One and five. Two and four. Three and three. Okay, well, that's three ways right there. How about three add ins? Mm -hmm. One plus two plus three. We just did this, right? We just did that on page number two on page 284. And we came up with multiple ways of doing that. So we could have had 1 plus 1 plus 4. We could have had 2 plus 2 plus 2. So on, so on. So many different ways. So any ones I choose, these are all the numerators. And I just need to put them over sixths. So 1 fifth, uh, sorry, 1 sixth plus 5 sixths equals 6 sixths. One sixth plus two sixths plus three sixths equals six sixths. Oh, a whole lot of sixes going on here. And um, how about three sixths plus three sixths? Okay. So anyway, again, my three might be totally different than your three. The key is they have to add up to six sixths or they have to add up to eight tenths. How many different ways can you write a fraction that has a numerator of two? One. One way. The only way to get a sum of two in the numerator is to have two unit fractions. For example, one third plus one third would give me two thirds. Okay, so the only way to get a sum of two is to have two thirds. Okay, page 286. Number nine, Holly's garden is divided into five equal sections. 
She will fence the garden into three areas by grouping some equal sections together. What part of the garden could each fenced area be? What information do I need? Well, divide it into five sections. What else do I need? Uh, she'll fence the garden into three areas. We'll break it into three areas by grouping the sections. Okay, so how can writing an equation help you solve the problem? Well, okay, so we have a garden and it's broken into five sections, right? So if you break it into five sections, but we're going to combine them into three different areas. How could writing an equation help us? So we would have fifths here, right? <clears throat> so to equal fifths, okay? <clears throat> and so, how can drawing a model help you? Um, I can visualize the garden. Okay, I'm gonna show you some examples of what I'm thinking in my head for this uh, garden. Okay, so how can you solve the problem? Well, let's go ahead and draw a picture of this garden. And let's say I have one fifth, one fifth, and then this I'm gonna call three fifths. How many areas do I have? I have three areas, and then when I add them together, they come out to five. So. 5 fifths is the same as saying 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 3 fifths. Is there other ways of doing that? Sure. I could have 5 fifths equals 1 fifth plus 2 fifths plus 2 fifths. Is there any other possibilities? No. So I see two ways. So complete the sentence. The garden can be fenced into blank, blank, and blank parts, or blank, blank, and blank parts. So we could say one-fifth, one-fifth, and three-fifths parts, or one-fifth, two-fifths, and two-fifths. So if we look if we drew the picture of the garden both ways, we could say one fifth, two fifths, two fifths, and that would give me five fifths. Lena walked two thirds of a mile. What is two thirds written as a sum of unit fractions with a denominator of nine? Hmm. So there's a lot going on in that question. Two thirds of a mile, sum of unit fractions. So unit fraction means one ninth because it says a denominator of nine. Well, right now I have a denominator of three. So what can I do to turn the thirds into ninths? That's my first step. I have to make them into ninths. So three times what is nine? Three. So whatever I do to the, to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. 2 times 3 is 6. So I need an equation using some unit fractions that adds up to 6 ninth. Well, 1 ninth plus 1 ninth plus 1 ninth. That's 3 ninths. 
four knives, five knives, six knives. Okay. So I wrote two thirds, which is equal to six ninths, as the sum of unit fractions. And finding 11. Ellie's mom sells toys. She sold seven tenths of the toys. Select a way seven tenths can be written as a sum of fractions. Mark all that apply. Well, we need the numerator to add up to seven. Four, five, six, seven. Yep, that works. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eh, nope. One and two is three. Three and three is six. Six and one is seven. That'll work. Okay. So, pretty basic on today's lesson. So, until tomorrow's lesson where we're going to add fractions using models, may the numbers always be in your favor.